again i am listing example 7 8 and 9 from exercise 2.50 and i will give the solution for the example 7 and 9 and i will leave you example 8 for uh, homework now uh, exercise 2.5 and uh, these are the three examples I am stating here and out of these three I am going to solve 7. 7 says that prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of the rhombus is equal to sum of the squares of its sides. Now the solution for 7 uh, clearly AOB, BOC and COD and DOE, DOA are, are right angle triangles, a right angle at O and uh, uh, because the, what is that, uh, diagonals of uh, rhombus uh, intersect perpendicularly to each other. Now see the figure here, I am drawing uh, here A, B, C, D is a rhombus where A, C and uh, B, D, B or B, D per, uh, intersect each other at right angles. I mean here, this is the right angle, this is the right angle and this is also a right angle. And not only that, by the property of a rhombus, these uh, diagonals intersect each other and they bisect themselves. I mean, here this is equal to this and this is equal to this. These two properties I am making use of here and therefore, by the Pythagoras theorem, uh, a B square equal to O A square plus O B square. Equation 1, B C square is equal to O B square plus O C square. Equation 2, and D C square is equal to O C square plus uh, O D square. Equation number 3, and D A square is equal to O A square plus O D square. And let me call this as equation number Four and therefore adding all these uh, equations, uh, what we are going to get here AB square. Adding these AB square plus BC square plus uh, CD square plus what is that d a square and uh, that equal to okay you add these uh, now you can see here to the left hand side it is going to be the sum of uh, uh, sides of a rhombus and the right hand side we can see o a square and this o a square that is a 2 o a square plus 2 similarly OB square OB square plus OB square plus 2 OC square plus 2 OD square and uh, this I would like to uh, take a 2 outside that is OA square plus OB square plus OC square plus OD square. Now you can see here OA square equal to half 2 into half uh, mm, AC, AC by 2 whole square plus OB square is equal to half BD square. BD by 2 whole square plus uh, OC square equal to again 
AC by 2 whole square plus uh, uh, OD square, OD square is equal to half uh, BD square because uh, uh, they bisect each other, bisect each other and therefore this is going to be 2 AC square by 4 plus BD square by 4 plus AC square by 4 plus again BD square by 4. Now observe AC square by 4 and this AC square by 4 and this BD square by 4 and this BD square by 4. This is going to be 2 into AC square by 2 plus BD square by 2 adding these two property uh, quantities and this is going to be 2 into 1 by 2 into AC square plus BD square. This, this we can get cancelled and therefore AB square plus BC square plus CD square plus DA square equal to AC square plus uh, BD square. This is the solution of the example uh, 7. Solution for the example 9 and now here, let the height of the ladder is uh, 10 meter and height of the window on the wall. This is window on the wall is 8 meter. You look at the figure here and uh, therefore we can visualize this as in this figure. You can see this is the AC is the ladder. AB is a height of uh, a window from the ground and BC is the just a feet of the wall between uh, uh, the ladder and therefore uh, you can see by the Pythagoras theorem we have uh, what is that uh, AC square is equal to uh, AB square plus BC square and uh, this implies 10 whole square AC is a 10 and 8 whole square that is uh, wall and window and BC square and therefore uh, this implies what is going to be 100 is equal to 64 plus BC square and this implies this implies uh, BC square equal to 100 minus 64 that is 36 uh, and therefore BC is equal to uh, the root of 36 that is 6 and hence uh, uh, feet from the therefore the distance from the foot of a ladder to the wall on the ground is 6 meters. Uh,